Hey, what's going on guys? Just wanted to give a quick update on uh, an install I had done last week uh, on my Toyota Tundra. I actually purchased this snorkel from Dobinson. It's a pretty good snorkel uh, from, from the looks of it. But the reason I'm making the video, I just wanted to make sure for whoever's trying to purchase a, a snorkel for a Toyota Tundra, just be aware that if your Toyota Tundra has these actual um, fender flares, you might run into an issue. We did have quite a bit of trouble trying to fit the uh, snorkel right above the uh, fender flare. So just wanted to make everybody aware if you're ordering one, just, just be kind of careful because there's not that much of a, a gap here at all. Uh, Dobinson does have it on their website, but what I noticed after I ordered the uh, snorkel, the the picture on their website doesn't show the Tundra with the actual flare. So just wanted to make everybody aware. The other thing too that I want to mention to you, I, I went ahead and got a pre-filter on the snorkel. Uh, sorry if you guys can't hear me. I think somebody's cutting the grass nearby. But uh, the pre-filter that I ordered for my snorkel, it's a it's a Donaldson, I believe. Uh, I, I'll try to provide some information if anybody has any questions regarding that pre-filter. And I actually like it a lot better because if, if for some reason you know you're you find yourself in a in a situation where the weather you're, you're getting rain, I I don't know if rain or water will go into the snorkel and bypass the system here and go into the uh, air intake. So I, I just decided to get the pre-filter, and it's just something that's probably. Uh, a little bit better in my opinion but uh yeah feel free to comment uh i, I like i said uh if you're if you're gonna get a donald a, a dobinson snorkel make sure that uh if you've got the fender flares you might run into a little issue where you're gonna have to make some changes or modifications so that's it thanks